today we're going to look at the Volvo XC40 and the new update and we're going to test the autopilot to see what it's like. Uh, we'll try it on a motorway, we'll try it on a, a bit of more of a dodgy road. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm going to trust this thing. Um, and we might even try the auto parking as well. So let's see how good autopilot is on the Volvo XC40. So here we go, we're going to do the first bit first. We've got a little motorway bit here. Um, I'm just going to get around this roundabout. Okay, so, right. so I'm going to get onto the motorway now. I'm going to push the button here on the steering wheel. That's going to switch on the autopilot and then switch this one. And I wait for the green steering wheel to come up, which is there. And I can now move my speedometer up to say 70. Oop. There. And now I just let the car as you can see, the steering wheel's changing. Every 10 seconds, I have to just grip on the steering wheel, a little orange light comes up. So I don't know if you can see that at all. And the car kind of drives itself. You'll see a little steering wheel pop up, there it is. So that means that I've got to touch it. Now, if I don't touch that steering wheel, it will go red and then beep at me. So this should be interesting. So, so far, so good. We're going to come to a roundabout soon. I'm just hoping that the car is going to stop for me. Now, if I want to change lanes, the autopilot goes off and then I can change lanes and then it will should, once I've got the two white lines, it engages again. So if I want to go back and the autopilot engages again and it, <laughs> and it steers us. Now I'm in control, I'm staying in control. Now we're getting to a roundabout and we're still doing 70, so I'm gonna apply the brake. So it's not recognizing speed signs at the moment. Um, so I'm having to apply the brake. However, because it has adaptive cruise control, if there was a car in front, it would slow down and then come to a standstill. So this time we're gonna go back more on a, on a main road and see how that handles it. Get to this part of the road, um, again, not much in it, it's a dual carry, it's a small dual carriageway, but let's see how it handles it. So we're gonna to get to this part here. I'm gonna switch on the adaptive cruise control and then switch for autopilot. So adaptive cruise control is on, it should pick up the white lines. The green bar hasn't come up yet. No, no green bar, so it's not giving me autopilot, so I can't get the green steering wheel up. Now, because I don't know why that is, should give me self-driving at this stage nope all it's giving me is adaptive cruise control no self-driving which is strange now let's see if the adaptive cruise control pauses for the car in front okay it's slowing down <laughs> okay now it's speeding up it knows that we've gone around a junction it's very very slow Okay, it's picking up. I've got it set to 30. Okay, it's still got no... Ah, I've got the green bar. I've got a car in front. How close? It's not picking the car. <laughs> it's not picking the car up in front. Okay, so I had to take control there. That's that. <laughs> okay, so it's not Tesla quality just yet. It looks like it's aimed more at motorway driving, I think. Um, let's get it back on. Again, I'm not getting the green. Ah, oh, there we go, we have the green. Let's see if the steering wheel takes this corner okay. Yep, it's turning, it's turning, but we're not coming to a standstill. Whoa! <laughs> okay. So, I wouldn't say it's safe enough for main roads. This really struggles, we'll get it back on. Adaptive cruise control, we hit 30. Now we can change the distance of the car in front, but no, I'm not getting the green. I'm not getting the green. Up, oh, we have the green steering wheel. Okay, it's turning. The car in front is braking, the car's braking. No, no, it's lost it, and it's shaking the steering wheel to let me know. Okay, that's interesting. So unlike the Tesla, which will actually come to a junction, which I think it uses its sensors, it will stop you at a junction. Volvo's not, not doing that. Um, 
Can I get the green auto drive back on? No, nothing. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So it it needs to have some sort of guidance in the in the two lanes of the road before it will give us access to that green. So if we get to our point, switch on the autopilot. Is it going to come up? Is it going to give me I think it's because it's not got a white line this side. No, it's not it's not got a guidance this side. I think it needs white lines either side before it will enable autopilot which is really strange yeah it definitely needs white lines either side okay I think next let's see what it's like at parking okay so we've got a slot to park okay continue stop okay select reverse gear okay check objects around the car park reverse slowly and be prepared to brake okay look at the steering wheel oh my god that is so weird that is so weird okay stop put it in forward gear drive forward okay be prepared to stop put it in reverse gear <laughs> This is so weird. Foot on the brake. It's leveling up. This is so weird. Stop and put it in forward gear. Okay. Okay, it's taken a few attempts to get in this. Stop and put it in reverse gear. Okay. Justin. Cancelled too many attempts. Well, it didn't do a bad job. Okay, let's pull out. I, <laughs> I don't quite know what to make of that. There's no car this side. There's no maybe because there's no cars either side. I think this I think we should just give it one more little chance. So let's just keep on for a second. Let's get back to the park assist. So we're gonna park in, I'm gonna wait for this scanning. So this time I'll try and find a space that's got a car either side. Taking a bit more of a chance, of course. Right, okay, so we're scanning. Scanning, scanning, yeah, I don't want, I want a car. Uh, okay, here's a space here with people getting in their car. Slots, so stop, okay. Select reverse gear, check for objects around the car, reverse slowly. Okay, where's this taking us? Oh, it's turning in. It's turning in. It's so weird, this. Okay. So that's going to be to forward gear. Doing that itself, I'm not having to touch the accelerator, I'm just the brake. Right, I have to touch the accelerator slightly to get it moving, so I have an auto hold on. Wow, okay. Well, that is absolutely spot on. I don't know what the problem was over that side, but this side seems to have really, it's got, have you got enough space your side? Perfect. Perfect, okay. Okay, so we're gonna go back onto this dual carriageway. Uh, we've got two to go through, and we're gonna test again to see if I can get this autopilot working. Out to this road here, so we'll try this road. I think it has got a line on it. Oh, no, nope. okay. So we're going to put the that's oh, unavailable, All right? So I put it up to 40, and the car now should it's not autopilot, but it should do adaptive cruise control. So it should stop for the lights, and when the car in front goes, we should go. Yep, so we're picking up speed, it's waiting for the distance. 
So the adaptive cruise control, the car in front's a nice distance. Now it's slowing down, it's taking its foot off the gas. Okay. Got nothing on the feet. Is it going to slow down for the roundabout? And the answer to that question is no. <laughs> right, okay, that's strange that it's not using junctions or... Okay, that's weird. So the autopilot is nowhere near as advanced as some others. Um, however, it will take the stress out of motorway driving, I think. Um, okay, there's a white line here. I will just try quickly on this one. Right, so yes, it definitely needs, and there's a car broken in front of us. Will it stop? And will it steer? Okay. Yes, it's doing all that. Will it keep going? It's keeping us a safe distance from the bollards. Right, it's asking me to apply it. So every 10 seconds it will uh, ask you to apply. So because it's got the white lines either side, that is definitely the factor in the autopilot. So it's keeping a nice safe distance. Autopilot switched off, now it's back on again. So when it stops, it turns autopilot off. So without touching any pedals, the car is doing everything itself. And I don't want to indicate at this stage, I'll wait until we get to the junction. So autopilot switched off. When we're going again, it engages, which is good. So if we're stuck in traffic, this is fantastic. We need to apply the steps and pressure to the steering wheel. Okay, well, it went to pull away because the car in front pulled away doesn't realize it's a junction okay here we go again uh, let's get it up to a 70 so um, at the moment there's no white line on this side so will it give us okay so we'll move that up to 70 autopilot is on and it's putting its foot down now because it can see the distance in front now can I change I can change the distance with these two buttons here so I can apply different settings to say how far or how close I want to be to the car in front the red steering wheel came on to engage if I don't touch the steering wheel at all let's see what happens after the 10 seconds so it's warning me I'm not touching it we're now turning red I'm still not touching it it's warning me Okay, it's starting to slow the car down and beep at me. Okay, that's interesting. It's been cancelled. I'll re-engage. Now, will it slow down with the car in front? I need to just apply some pressure to the steering wheel. I'm in full control, I'm not losing control. There's a car merging from the left. It's telling me that it's 50. It's not, so it's not slowing car. down for the car. It's not recognising the car that's appearing on the motorway. However, I've re-engaged the autopilot to see what happens. Whoa! Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> it's going all over the road. Okay, is it going to slow down with the car in front? Yes, it is. Will it turn? Will it turn and slow and come to a standstill? Right, this is going to be confusing. Does it take the middle lane? Where does it go? It's turning. It's turning and that's okay. That is shaking now. It shakes the steering wheel to let me know that it doesn't know what to do. Okay. Okay, on this one, we're going to try and see if it will pick up a space for parallel parking. So I'm just going to keep going. There's a space here. Will it pick it up and can it do it? Okay. Mm. Yep, stop. Okay. Reverse gear. Okay. <laughs> it's reversing into this space for parallel parking. It's a tight space, I'll be saying that. How close does it get? It's asking me to reverse slowly, so I've got my foot. Okay, forward gear. Drive forward. Okay, reverse gear. Hey! That's perfect. That is absolutely spot on. Hold on. You see, it is absolutely perfect. Wow. Okay, right, now I can do, I think, there's 
um, park out. Only use the parallel parking, use blinker to choose which side, reverse gear. Okay, check for objects around the car. Forward gear. Right, I have to check for objects around the car. Oh, it's a car coming, so we we'll just wait. There's a car coming. Okay, car's gone. Drive forward slowly. It's pulling out. Is it coming right round? That's it. Wow. Yep, completed successfully. Parallel parking. Okay, so we're now on a road where there's objects either side. So I'm going to put the, just going to, I'm just going to put it at the speed limit of 40 and park pilot is switched on, but there is no green light again. So there's definitely an issue with not seeing a boundary to the left. So it definitely needs a white line to the left before it allows us the green light to give us autopilot, which is, um, I, I totally understand, but I, I would have thought it would be a bit more advanced than that. I know other cars will allow you to drive down these sorts of roads. Obviously, Tesla is a lot more advanced, but um, yeah, it's not. Yeah, there's no, the yellow line's not picking it up either, which is interesting. Okay. Well, that was, um, that was interesting. I mean, I, I, I liked it was it was interesting i think volvo's still got a long way to go before it catches someone like tesla um i i, I mean i've test drove a couple of other cars that have auto auto um auto driving like um audi and so forth they are a bit more advanced volvo i do think I, I mean obviously this is the latest model to my to my knowledge i had an update that told me about auto driving it was a lot better and i have to admit on a motorway it's just it just takes the stress away from driving you just switch on the autopilot it's automatically got adaptive cruise control. It does exactly what you need it to do uh, and it will stop, start and it will turn. And every 10 seconds, it will I'll ask you to apply a little bit of pressure to the steering wheel, just, just enough to disengage. And as you saw there, if I didn't do that, obviously what would then happen is it would then bleep and then start to slow the car down um, and, and, and be a bit more safe. Also as well, when you get to a junction, if you have autopilot on, the, the, it's like a, like a vibration in the steering wheel to let you know shit's about to get real. Um, so it also does that. The parallel parking was absolutely spot on. The reverse parking and pulling out was absolutely spot on. I think the first time that I did it, which you saw, I think that was more me than the car. I think I was applying too much brake, maybe too much acceleration. Maybe I shouldn't be applying acceleration at all. Should just be touching the brake. I think you just touch the acceleration to get it going because I have auto hold on. So in general, the Volvo XC40 um, Autopilot, um, it's, I think it's got a long way to go. However, it is good if you do a lot of motorway driving um, and you do have to have a white line either side before it will engage. It, it, it does the job. I think if you're on a motorway and you're driving the long distance, it really will take the stress out of driving, especially if there's traffic and it's stop start. You can really just... You know, as long as you just apply a little bit of pressure on that steering wheel every 10 seconds, it, it will drive itself. It really will take the pain out of driving. And it's comfortable, the XC40, you know, I can't complain. Really impressed with the car. Um, I, it's It's been a fantastic vehicle. Um, I'm starting to get around the 30 miles to the gallon. If you watch my first video, which I'll link at the end of this video and in the description, I was only getting like 23 miles to the gallon. Let me just show you now. So you can see on the dashboard there, if you look at my moles to the gallon, um, you can see I'm getting around 29.8. I did some motorway driving the other day. That was up to about 34, 35. If we scroll down a little bit, um, I don't know what the TA is, if anyone knows. Um, but yeah, it's, it's you know, it, it it's getting a little bit better on the moles to the gallon, obviously like any sort of long distance driving. Also as well in the first video, I didn't know how to turn the sink on, someone in the comments, quite rightly told me I just look at that little button up there and you can press synchronize or unsynchronize the temperature of the Volvo so thank you for that as well that was really good um obviously the wireless charging I had the little dongle there if you didn't see the 
the video before. Um, that, that just gives me um, Apple CarPlay, which you can see there. I love Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I don't see the point in using just the normal um, thing itself because it just does give you everything that you need. Um, this is a little bit sluggish, if I'm honest, as you can see there. Yeah, just swipe across. Um, it, it's, yeah, you can see it's a little bit sluggish. But other than that, um, it's, it's really good. I'm really pleased with the car. It's nice, it's comfortable, it's quiet. It's got the auto sunroof. It's, it, it, it's, it's nice and roomy, the kids like it. It's, I just, it's a nice car. The steering wheel feels nice, the heated steering wheel. Um, and obviously as well, you can open up the panoramic roof uh, simply by clicking that. Uh, you can open it up a little bit or we can, uh, this is the bit I do hate, the blind. I have to really push that up like that to get that blind to go back. I don't know why it does that, Volvo. Why is that so difficult? Why couldn't you just have a separate button for that? Um, and then just... No, see, it's doing it again. Right, so let me just show you this. So up here, I have to really push up to get that thing to go back. But to close this sunroof, I can't... No, 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 it's coming. And then I can close it. And then I can click on back. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. Anyone else got a Volvo that knows the secrets of this bloody thing up here? Please let me know. Anyway, that's enough for me. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Make sure you hit that like button. That's so important. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want me to do anything else with the Volvo, let me know. I'm happy to do some more bits and pieces and show you. Um, and any other videos that you want to see, hit me up in the um, comments down below. I'm happy to do that as well. So until the next one, take care, everyone.